JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for June the 21st. I am Haralambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD. I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded um, mixed against the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It gained ground versus uh, JPY while it underperformed against CAT, GBP, Aussie and Kiwi in that order. The greenback was found nearly unchanged versus the Euro and the Swiss franc. Now, despite the mixed performance of the US dollar, the weakness in the yen and the strengthening of the risk-linked currencies suggest that uh, the financial community may have traded in a risk-on uh, manner yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major European shares traded in the green, with uh, France's uh, CAC 40 gaining the list after Emmanuel Macron Centris, after Manuel Macron's uh, centrist uh, ensemble coalition uh, secured the most uh, seats in the, na in the National Assembly, uh, but uh, fell well short of securing an absolute majority. Now, Wall Street remained closed in celebration of uh, the Juneteenth, while the relatively upbeat appetite rolled over into the Asian session today. Only China Shanghai Composite traded in the red uh, today in Asia. Now, with no clear catalyst behind the rebound this week, we could say that it may have been Friday's options expiry. We had options expiring, uh, so the changes uh, the dynamic in the market, and maybe the lack of major central bank decisions this week. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that we will not, uh, we don't have any market moving in any market moving events actually we do have uh, uh, testimony by fed chair powell we get uh, cpi data from the uk canada and canada and we also get the preliminary pmis from around the globe but for now uh, investors decided to add to their risk exposure remarks by ecb president lagarde later in the day may have also helped for sure they did not cause any harm uh, Lagarde reiterated the ECB's commitment to lift interest rates next month and maybe by a larger size in September, but she also said that they will do so while fighting widening spreads in the borrowing costs of different Eurozone members. Although she never denied addressing uh, fragmentation, last week she said that the ECB's aim is taming inflation and not helping budgets which did not sound very well uh, to investors' ears. Now, saying that they will fight the situation may have, echoed, uh, may have echoed more pleasing, and that's why participants continue to add to their risk exposures uh, during the rest of the day. However, Lagarde's speech was not the only event we had uh, related to central banking and monetary policy. Then during the Asian session, the RBA released uh, the minutes of its latest gathering with the report confirming that the board agreed uh, that further rate increases would be uh, required. We also got remarks from Governor Law, who said that um, Australia should be prepared for more uh, interest rate increases and that the current level is still very low. This added uh, more validity to market expectations of multiple rate hikes by the RBA in the next months. Having said all that though, even if this is positive for the odds in the short run, expectations over faster tightening uh, in the rest of the world could hurt again the, the broader sentiment and 
Therefore, due to its uh, risk-linked status, the Aussie could come um, back under renewed selling interest. So, although we could see the Aussie trading higher for a while, we are reluctant to call for a long-lasting bullish trend. Actually, against the US dollar, we are uh, somewhat negative. <coughs> we believe that uh, in the first sign of deteriorating market sentiment, the Aussie could come under selling interest and the dollar could uh, strengthen. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those interested um, uh, in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe uh, to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye. Have a great day and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.